Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greasers, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <sighs> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. For Christ's sake, put it away now! Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well... I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. 
We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Gabish. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. We'll take my car. All right, I'll drive. Don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty... All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Park in there. And hey... We gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. All right, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're gonna need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we gonna get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here. So don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, always a fucking bridesmaid. Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while, just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Pardon me, sir. Are you a guest at the hotel? Well, where is he? Uh, he always on smoke Yeah. Look, I'm really sorry I couldn't get here sooner. Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was... All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck.
Let's go. Move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. Seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. I fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilt something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. I seriously doubt that, Romeo. Come on, we'll grab some beats. These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's blood all over the fucking place, and we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up, and you gotta make it snappy. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, the... Oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow, the blue, and the plus, and the plus, uh, the red, and matching, the negative, negative, the blue, and cross over here. Perfect. Okay, the hard part is almost over. Uh. This spot, asshole. Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. That's Clemente. We could take him out right now. If we had a gun. Yeah, and we'd be dead in two seconds. Just take it easy and stick to the plan. Damn. I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? What do you want me to carry you? Vito. Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Here. Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified clip. Hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. 
We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. What are you doing here? Get lost. Okay, Vito. Oh. You shoot like my sister. They teach you that in the army? Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Back me up, Vito. Oh, another one bites the dust. Might be more of Let's go, Vito. Okay, that takes care of that. I hope nobody heard us up here. Ah, buildings like this got soundproof windows, and we're so high up, nobody on the street could have heard us neither. Come on, let's get to the window washing platform. What the hell are you two doing? I wasn't done with my... Oh, shit. Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot.
Okay, get on. We got work to do. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. Okay, this is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. What the fuck are you waiting for? This ain't no fucking peep show. Get back to work. Up a bit. Hey, back's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. These assholes ain't. Oh, 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 what the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Ah, what the... Shit. Shit. Christ, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. Felt like a fucking earth, but... What the fuck? Oh, shit! Lucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna die for this! Get away! Come on, Vito! Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it! Right side. Back me up, Vito. Man, you're a terrible fucking oh, guy. Fuck. Oh shit. This way, Vito, you won't get through there. The sprinklers are going off. Really? Because I best. thought it was rain. Wise ass. I can't see a damn thing through all this water. Pixar! Fuck! There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three, two, Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you.
Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi would be in a bad room? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Gotta get out of here. You can't help him now. Clementi's getting away. Let's go. I'm gonna kill that fuck. Yeah, you think it's over? Wrong, assholes. Back me? All right, there's two of them. Next minute, make sure you follow Clementi, not the other guy. I know how to drive, all right? Just be ready with the gun. Don't worry about that. Just follow Clementi. He's in the black belt. Hey, Joe, I got eyes too, you know? What are you scared, asshole? Yeah. Be careful, Vito! Give me Eddie's number. I'll call him. All right. Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left him there. Okay, okay. what about Clementi? Done. All right. Hey. Don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main small, thing is it's small done. price. Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your right there. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry. All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too. More than you think, but you knew the risks. You too. Hey, this was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. 
You should go home. Okay, well, just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a uh, veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty. And now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm 
mama tried, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. Sir, can I fill her up for you? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Sorry about the prices, but gas keeps going up. It's tough times roll around, you know? Here you go, sir. Thank you. Remember, sir, we got the cheapest gas in the city. Vito, you All here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe, I wonder why. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty. I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so sorry, <coughs> kid. This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm gone.
pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that. Right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, Thanks, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just... call me tomorrow, okay? Who the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look. 
How you going away? I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falco just the same. When you saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Fido. I owe you one. So, uh, how's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in a parking lot that day. So I just figured you two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come at the Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Forever again? Don't worry about it. You do what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe solid. But I wouldn't exactly want to speak it on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. Now, uh, I certainly hope that this is true, kids, because uh, after all, fellas, our poor wives have enough difficulty driving as it is. <laughs> What's next? A, a washing machine in the car? <laughs> oh, I, I shudder to think of the destruction that would be caused if they were all driving around while talking on the telephone. <laughs> a word to the wise ladies, don't dial and drive. In pursuit of suspect. Copy that. Oh, you hit my car. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? <laughs> All right, go get him then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Yeah, take a seat, Henry. So. Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. 
Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. No, we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody'll know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See you. Ciao, Mr. Scaletta. Bye, Mr. Scaletta.
a maniac. We gotta take him down. 
Ah, oh, shit, Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. Down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the barn. Hmm, maybe we can fit in here. You got nuts? Neil, what the hell are you doing here? All right, take it easy, Henry. Put the gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys! Wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was going to put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You got to understand. Yeah, but you got to understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and will have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's got to be a way. Rito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. for this one, pal. What? Hey, kid. Leo. You want a drink? What the hell happened? Your friend and I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You can go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You are. Don't tell Frank what happened. Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You don't have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in his business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. A few phone calls, settle my affairs. Then I'm gonna head for the airport. I'm gonna go someplace warm. I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella. One thing's for sure, Carlo wants me dead. Staying around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. Isn't that a little drastic? All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man.
guy's a maniac. We gotta take him down. Copy that. Classic Radio Late Night. Classics from dusk till dawn. ECLA. to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric. Your husband, what? <laughs> he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? Find you and finish the fucking job. You got it? Yeah. Okay, everybody, party's over. And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you. Got it? probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. 
But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Fido. I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you you stay away from us, you understand? Just just stay away. <laughs> Watch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Watch the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck! Ah. <clears throat> Hey, come on. Get out of the car. Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go. You better not be passed out. Come on! Oh, your horses. I'm coming, I'm coming. What were you barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. 
Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Hey, oh, it's Joe. A fucking yeah, clown. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. Did it get any worse? Try to kill a good friend of mine. Wow, kitchen's big too. Down. I wanna know who they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you don't tell them. Well, the bed's not too bad. Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Come on, get in. All right. So you heard anything about the Mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now, laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left, so I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of him. I like this plan. Assholes broke my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Take it easy. I'm in a rush. Ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. I told you, I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away, but I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You... You've got some bombs. Yes, I do. Go fucking dead! Back me up, Vito. Not bad, huh? Let's kill that fucker! I lost Is that him! that fucking mess you got? Oh, oh you're in trouble. Come on, think of something. Hurry up! General Eisenhower is almost a <laughs> Don't want to get on your bad side. In the latest polls, can you believe it? Now, some expert. Possibly it is due to his status as a war hero and also the true. Trust the fella. Middle name like Mickey Mouse. He is destined for Central Radio. This is Ricky Fox. Uh. 
I told you. I chased him, but I lost. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some bombs. Yes, I do. It's fucking over! Oh, that is. Shut Back me up, Vito. Is that the fucking bat? I told you. I chased him, but I lost. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh. asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Run! He's oh, in. Oh. I'm the best. Lost oh. him. Let's go, Vito. I got something for you, you fuck. Die, asshole! You're fucking dead. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, you're fucking brilliant. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Car. Let's go to get in the way. All right, come on, you drive. Got some nut job here. Shoot the gun. Copy that. Care of that. Stupid fucks. I have a Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Copy that. Going in. Takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, this guy's a maniac. Some... We gotta take right. him down. Let's go back. <clears throat> so it's okay if I crash on the couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're from Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? I'm really. You get back there doesn't even start to make up for you. Hey, all that stuff they got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those are my things, Joe. Why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads. <sighs> I told you. I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. You're fucking dead! Oh, it is. Shut up. Going in. Is that the fucking on, best you got? Oh, oh, you're in trouble. They teach you that in the army? Come on, let's go! Chop, chop! I'm the best. I'm gonna get you sooner or later. Hey, 
more of them in that car. Let's go, they're getting away. All right, come on, you drive. Takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but it don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right, let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I can do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What you did back there doesn't even start to make Hey, all that stuff that got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. Why do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. I'd never fuck a war frat like no man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full with you, isn't it? I got a Caucasian male carrying a handgun. Copy that. Stay right where you are. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> 